Hello guys, in this video, we're going to get familiar with ladder language. I'll only use normally open and closed contacts to implement some simple electrical circuit. Finally, I'll write a simple program to implement a star delta starter. It's a common method in indices to reduce the starting crying of the motors without using any external device. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller-based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let's start the video with this program, which was tested in the previous videos. At the bottom, you can see its equivalent industrial circuit with relays. As you see, it includes a control circuit and a simple power circuit to turn on a three-phase motor. As you may know, PLCs are an alternative to implement industrial control circuits, not power circuits. Now, let me tell you an important point. Because I've used normally open push buttons at this PLC wiring diagram, my program is similar to this control circuit. Otherwise, I'll need to modify my program. Let me explain it more. Well, a push button can be normally open or closed, and a contact in a program can be normally open or closed as well. So, there are four states according to the type of push buttons and contacts. At the first line, the contact and also its related push button are normally open. Let's review how the CPU executes the first line. In normal conditions, the 24 volts doesn't reach the first digital inputs terminal. So, the CPU doesn't change the state of the first contact at the first line. In consequence, the virtual power can't reach the first digital output. So, the first digital output is off in normal conditions. But if I press the first push button, the 24 volts reaches the first digital input terminal. So, the CPU changed the state of the first contact from open to closed. Now, the virtual power can enable the Q0.0 address. So, if I press the first push button, my CPU turns on the first digital output. The important point is that the state of this contact is changed based on the state of its digital input address, which works based on the voltage level at its input terminal, not based on the type of push button. Now, let me explain the last line, which uses a normally closed push button and a normally closed contact. In normal conditions, the 24 volts reach the last digital input terminal. So, the CPU changed the state of this contact from closed to open. So, the virtual power can't enable the digital output, and like the first line, this output will be off in normal conditions. But if I press the last normally closed push button, the 24 volts doesn't appear at the input terminal. So, the CPU doesn't change the state of this normally closed contact. In consequence, the virtual power can reach the fourth digital output and turn it on. As you saw, the performances of the first line and the last line of my program are similar together. Similarly, the performances of the middle lines are the same. In normal conditions, these two outputs are on. When I press these two push buttons, the CPU turns off these two digital outputs. Note that these two lines of my program are different. 
but the overall performances are the same because of using a different type of push buttons. Now let's do a more complex project to learn a simple way of PLC programming. First, pay attention to this industrial circuit. As you can see, there are three conditions that can turn on the lamp. Also, three conditions can activate the K1 contactor and in consequence, the three-phase motor using the power circuit. Well, I can use an input-output module with this wiring diagram to implement the control circuit using a PLC station. Note that if normally open push buttons are used, the program inside the CPU will be similar to its equivalent electrical circuit. Also, two digital outputs are used respectively for the lamp and the K1 contactor that can turn on the three-phase motor. Well, these three states of the circuit illustrate the all conditions that the lamp can be on. Similarly, the CPU can use this program to turn on the lamp. A simple program in ladder language has three parts. The virtual power on the left side and some conditions that can turn on an output. Now, each line of my program is written based on one condition that can turn on the lamp. Similarly, there are three conditions to turn on the three-phase motor. So, I can use this program to control the lamp and the three-phase motor with my PLC station, an asset of uh, this electrical control circuit. Note that I can change the PLC program easily without changing its wiring. This is the most significant advantage of using PLCs. Before implementing the next industrial circuit, I should say I'm using normally open push buttons like this diagram. If you use normally closed push buttons at your PLC wiring diagram, you may need to change the type of the related contacts inside the program. All right, this is a star delta starter. It's the most commonly used method for the starting of a three-phase induction motor in industries. In this circuit, the induction motor is connected in throughout a star connection during the starting period. Then, once the motor reaches the required speed, the motor is connected in throughout a delta connection. In this diagram, there are three push buttons to stop the motor, start the motor with its star connection, and a push button to switch the motor to its delta connection. This control circuit uses these three contactors to control the motor. You can use the EKTS software to simulate and learn this circuit. Now let's write its program in Semantic Manager software. I want to write a program to control these three contactors, power, star, and delta. I configured my PLC station in the previous videos. So, let me open the main block, OB1. Now, let me add a suitable title and comment to my program. All right, let's add a network. As you saw, the power contactor should be enabled with the start push button and disabled with the stop push button. So I can use SR instruction easily for that.
Okay, the second contactor star should be on when the first contactor is enabled. Okay, I need another network for the Delta contactor. When I press the third push button, this contactor should be enabled. Naturally, when the star push button is pressed, the Delta contactor must be disabled. Now let's add an important safety condition. According to the power circuit, the star and delta contactors must not be enabled at the same time. So let me use a normally closed contact of the third digital input here. In consequence, when I press the third push button, the star contactor will be off. Also, when the delta contactor is enabled, the star contactor must not be on. So, let's use a normally closed contact of the third digital output before the second digital output, which enables the star contactor. Now, let's add similar safety conditions to the third network. When I enable the third digital input to enable the delta contactor, the first contactor must be on and also the star contactor must be off. Alright, this is a simple program to implement the star delta starter with AS7300 PLC. Now let's test it with the PLC SIM simulator. Okay, let's use the second digital input to enable these two digital outputs. Well, to see the state of the contactors, I need to modify this address on the PLC SIM simulator window. As I mentioned before, I can change the program logic without any changes in the PLC wiring. For example, let's use a negative pulse detection after the start contact. Therefore, the three-phase motor will be started 
Then I press and release the start push button. I'll explain this instruction in the next video. Now let me test the new program. As you can see, I need to enable and also disable the start contact to activate the two first digital outputs. Similarly, I can test the program using my PLC station. I need to close the PLC scene simulator and then download the program into my CPU which were explained in the previous videos. Alright, in this video I tested some simple electrical circuit using the EKTS software and then explained how they can be implemented by AS7300 PLC. In the next video I'll explain other build logic instructions. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.